Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video to explain a feature that is unknown for some people but is very interesting and it's the volume mixer. So you know in the bottom right of your taskbar you've got a speaker icon if you run uh, if you you know just single click on it you will have speaker audio information. But if you right click on that speaker icon, you have something called volume mixer. And this could be very, very useful in many cases. For example, if you have sound in your computer, but one app doesn't, that's where you could look why there is no sound. If you're doing some recordings, for example, I record a show every week and it requires me to have several things playing and each need to have their own volume level. The volume mixer gives or shows you the different volumes of every app that you're using. So to demonstrate here, I opened up the Windows Media Player, the DOM Pod Player, and I have a page with something playing on the um, space.com website. If I click on the um, right click on the speaker icon and go into volume mixer you'll now notice that I have several volumes so I've got the general volume for the speaker and let's just extend this here here we go then I've got system sounds which are turned off in my case because I don't want to have system sounds if I play around with the volume while I'm recording for example but you can turn it back on if it's off you don't hear any system sounds um, the other one is Windows Media Player has its own volume here, so I can actually set Windows Media Player volume with the slider at the level I want. I can even mute at the bottom if you click a little speaker between uh, at the bottom of each app. Each app will have you know uh, the possibility of getting muted or have their own volume control. Uh, Microsoft Edge browser has its volume here, so this lets you control the volume level of every app. And the good thing about it is that unless you play with the volume of the app itself, Windows remembers the last setting. So it always starts with that volume level. And this could answer another question. If you have sounds except in a specific app, or if you have sounds but no sound in the browser, check the volume mixer. Maybe your volumes are okay except the app that you're trying to have um, some sound might be muted. And this is something people, a lot of people don't know, is that even though your volume on the bottom right looks fine, if the app itself is muted, you don't hear sound from that app. So this is one of the most common reasons why people don't have any sound when they do something on a specific app or on the web or so on. So volume mixer is very, very nice and is very, it has independent volumes for every app that you use on your computer. So if I shut everything down here, you'll notice that when I right click, go back to the volume mixer, I now have a lot less volumes, just the main volumes of the apps that are left. The main volume for my speakers, the system sounds of Windows, and my OBS Studio recording uh, software. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.